Hey everybody, in the previous videos we discussing and practice some of the previous year questions. But our practice of string will not get completed without solving output based question. So let's do it without further delay. To solve this type of question, we must draw dry run table. But before that, let's try to understand the code in short. Here is one string with some value. There is one more string that is empty. C is initialized to 0. Using for loop, we are iterating over the string. It means I will be iterating over the individual character of this string. Using if, l if, there are total three conditions. Let's check out the first condition. When the character is not alphabet, then star will get concatenated to the previous string. What's the second condition? If the character is not uppercase, then we will be adding 1 to the value of c which is initially 0. And based on the value of that index, we will be considering the character that will get concatenated to the previous string. If these two conditions are false, we will come to the else part. Let's check out what we are doing in the else part. Using ORD function, we are getting the ordinal value of the character. Then we are adding 1 to it. It means we will get the next ordinal value. On that next ordinal value, we are applying character function. It means what? We will get actually next character according to the ordinal value. And that character is getting concatenated to the previous string. After every iteration, the value of C will get incremented by 1. Hope you got the little idea of the code. Now let's draw the dry run table and check out the values in each pass. So here is the dry run table. Let's start with the first pass. In the first pass, the value of I will be W. Initially, C is 0. We know that W is an alphabet, that's why it will not pass the first criteria. What's the next condition? It is not upper, but we know W is a uppercase letter. That's why this condition is also not getting satisfied. Ultimately, we will come to the else part. From this code, we understood that we have to consider the next character according to the ordinal value. And we know that A to Z has the ordinal value in sequence. So after W, what we have in the alphabets? We have X. This is capital X because W is also capital. Alright, in the same way, we will be proceeding to the next pass. The next alphabet is E. The value of C will get incremented to 1. The first criteria is false. We will come to the second criteria. Yes, it is not uppercase. It means it is satisfying the second condition. In this pass, what's the value of C? It is 1. 1 plus 1 will be 2. Text of 2 means what? 0, 1, 2. We will get L. It means L will get concatenated to the previous string. So we got this string. This else part is not applicable. Moving ahead to the third pass. The next character is nothing but L. The value of C will become 2. It is not satisfying this criteria. It will come to the second criteria. We know now what we are doing. We are taking the next character in the string. So ultimately after L we have C. In this way the same concept will get applied to the remaining characters that is C O M E. So it will become fourth pass, fifth pass, sixth pass and the seventh pass. Later will be C O M and E. The value will get incremented like 3, 4, 5, 6. For all these characters, we will come to the second condition. The previous string is X, L, C. So in the fourth pass, we will consider the next character. In the fifth pass, the next character is M. In the sixth pass, the next character will be E. And in the seventh pass, the character we will consider as at the rate. Now it is not a small case letter. It means in the eighth pass, we are getting at the rate symbol. The value of C will be 7. This is a symbol. It is satisfying the first condition. Yes, it is not an alphabet. In this, we are doing very simple thing. We are just concatenating star to the previous string. Let's write the previous string first. X, L, C, O, M, E at the rate. And star will get concatenated. After at the rate, we are getting space. So let's add that pass here itself. We got space. The value of C will become 8. It also satisfies the first criteria because it is not an alphabet. It means star will get concatenated. Here we will not write anything. 
Look at the next two characters. It will satisfy the criteria of these small case letters. So let's write the past 10 and past 11. First we are getting T then we are getting O. The value of C will update as 9 and 10. Alright, let's come to the second part. Here is the previous string X L C O M E at the rate star star. In this condition we consider the next character. Next character is nothing but O. Here we are writing the result of two pass. In the next pass after O we have space. It means we will not write anything but remember that here it is space. Let's continue with the next pass. We could see after O there is space. For space we already did. What we need to do? We need to concatenate star. First let's write the previous string. Excel C O M E at the rate star star O then space. After space itself we will concatenate star. The value of C will become 11. Here is the 13th pass. We got capital letter E. What we did for the capital letter same we will be doing. We will be coming to the else part. In the else part we need to take the next character according to the ordinal value. In the alphabets we know after E we get F. So F will get concatenated here. Let me write here itself. What about the 14 pass? In the 14 pass after E we are getting X. X satisfies the criteria of the lower case letter. In the lower case letter we take the next character. We could see in the string after X we have 4. The value of C will be 12 then it will be 13. Let me write the remaining pass here itself. In the 15 pass after X we have digit 4. 4 satisfies the first criteria itself. Yes it is not an alphabet. It means what star will get concatenated. The value of C will be 14. In the next pass we have letter M. M follows the rule of lower case letters. In lower case letter we are taking the next character of the string. So in the string after N we have exclamation symbol. Let's write it. Wow we reach to the last character of the string. It means that is the 17th pass. It is an exclamation symbol. This character satisfies the first criteria. It is not an alphabet. In that case what we do? We concatenate star. So let's do it. Wow! After lot of efforts we finally got the output. Hope this was a tough exercise for the brain and you enjoyed it. But with this you will get a clear idea how to solve this output based question. You may get this type of question based on list 2. Let me show you the output clearly. Don't get confused with space. Write your answer in a neat and clean manner. Alright there is one more question for practice. Let's try to understand the code first. Here is one string. We are calculating the length of the string. It is nothing but 10. Total there are 10 characters. Here is the empty string. There is one for loop. I will take the values based on the range function. Range of 10 means the value will be from 0 to 9. Look at the conditional statements. If the character is between A to M, we are changing it to uppercase and concatenating it to the previous string. In case if the character is between N and Z, then we are taking the character based on the value of I. We are subtracting one from that I and that character will get concatenated to the previous string. If both the condition will be false, we will come to the else part. We will check the character is uppercase. If it is uppercase, then we are concatenating star to the previous string. Alright then, let's work out together. If you can do it yourself, I will suggest you to pause the video. Hope you got it. Let's try to work out now. In the past one, the value of i will be 0. S of 0 is nothing but the first character that is w. It satisfies the second condition because it is in the range of n to z. In that case what we are doing look at the statement we need to take the s of i minus 1. The value of i is 0. 0 minus 1 means what? It is nothing but minus 1. At the position of minus 1 we have the character s. So s will get concatenate to the empty string it means we got s. Alright let's work out on the next pass the value of i will be 1 the next character is e. It falls in the range of a to m. It means it satisfies the first condition. What we are doing in the first condition? We are converting the character to uppercase. 
the previous string is nothing but s and the e will get converted to capital letter let's work out on the remaining pass in the pass 3 the value of i will be 2 the next character is l it satisfies this condition that's why it will get converted to capital letter in the fourth pass the value of i will be 3 the character is c this also will get converted to capital c all right what about fifth pass the value of i will be 4 after c we can see there is o it falls in the range of n minus z in the second condition we are considering the character s of i minus 1 the value of i is 4 4 minus 1 will be 3 at the index 3 we have letter c so the previous string is s e l c now the small c will get concatenated in the sixth pass the value of i will become 5 after o we have m if you have understood you can easily work out the m will get converted to capital letter so here is the string in the seventh pass the value of i will become 6 the next character is nothing but e this also will get converted to capital letter after e we have 2 in the code there is no criteria for the digit so the string will be as it is the next letter is nothing but c so it will get converted to capital c let me write the resultant string here itself finally we reach to the end of the string the last character is nothing but s very good you know what we have to do the value of i is 9 minus 1 ultimately it will be 8 so tell me which character is at the index 8 very good we have small c so this is the final output this is the final string to make it clear let me show you the final string hope you are enjoying this session i can solve as many questions as you want but when you will do yourself then only the concept will get cleared take the screenshot and try it yourself then you can come and cross check your answer with this dry run table for your practice here is one more example you have dry run table too so if you make mistakes also you can cross check your answer and can be corrected Alright, here is the assignment to you. Do it yourself. Hope you will surely get the correct output. But let me help you with this dry run table. Here is the final output. When you will do it yourself, you will feel it is very interesting. So give it a try. Let's work on it. There is a one string text one and the string two is empty string. Here we are using while loop. This is the first part of the while loop initialization, then test condition, and this is increment. Inside the while loop, we have if elif. The value of i will be from 0 till length of text 1. And the length of text 1 means the number of characters in a text 1. It is 6. So the value of i will be from 0 to 5. So let's start our dry run. In the past one, the value of i will be 0. If the first character of the text 1 is greater than 0 or less than 9 means it should be digit. We are checking it for the digit. If it is a digit, it will come inside the true part. The first character is i. So it will not come to the true part. Let's check out what is the second condition. In the second condition, we are checking if it is in between capital A to Z. The first character of the string is i. It satisfies this condition. So it will come to the elif part. With the condition whatever character we get we will concatenate it with the string 2. Which is an empty string in the beginning. So let's check out the expression for the first character i. Text of i plus 1. The value of i is 0. So what will be the value of i plus 1? It will be 1. Let's write the index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So at the index 1 we have character n which will get concatenated to the text 2. Moving ahead, in the next pass we will get the next character of the string that is n. It satisfies the second criteria that is it is in between a to z. If it is in between a to z we are concatenating the next character that is d. So d will get concatenated to the n in the third pass we are getting the character d it also satisfies this elif part it is in between a and z for that we need to consider the next character that is dash it got concatenated to the previous string that is nd 
after d in the next pass we are getting dash it is not a digit not a character also in between a to z so the control will come to the else part in the else part we are concatenating star so star got concatenated in the fifth pass we got 2 2 is a digit so the control will come to the if part there are two three statements we will evaluate it here first of all we are converting the text of that i to integer we got 2 it will get convert to the integer 2 the value of val was 2 it is getting incremented by 1 means we got 3 look at the third statement now the value which we got in the variable is getting converted to string we got 3 that will get converted to string and will get concatenated to the previous string 3 got concatenated to the previous string in the last pass we are getting 3 it is again a digit so 3 we got as a string which we converted to a number by integer and we are incrementing it by 1 so the value we got 4 again 4 got converted to string and got added to the previous string so ultimately we will get this string that's why our final output is this nd dash star 3 4 hope you found this session informative and useful if so don't forget to share it with your friends in the next video we are going to discuss one of the important data type that is nothing but list so until next time stay motivated keep studying i will see you in the next one